Hi, I'm Lisa Chofty, director of the University of Utah Early Music Ensemble. And I'm Pam Jones, course professor for the Doctoral Performance Practice Seminar. I want to take just a minute to share a bit about the Early Music Ensemble at the U. The ensemble is open to all students at the University of Utah. We're an ensemble of music majors, minors, and non-majors. We are also open to a few community members by audition. The ensemble meets for two hours per week, though we both provide extra coaching on recorder and traverso and harpsichord. The goal of EME here at the U is to find a place for all student musicians who have an interest in learning about and performing early music, whether they just want to get their toes in the water or delve deeper. The Doctoral Performance Practice Seminar is a two-semester course which focuses on scholarly research and applied performance for music from approximately 1600 to the early years of the 20th century. Our university is a Pac-12 research institution located in the Intermountain West and we have a very robust DMA program at our School of Music with students from all over the Intermountain West and also North and South America, Europe, and Asia. Each year we train a new cohort of doctoral students to research and perform historical repertoire together for two semesters, providing them with useful and practical historical performance knowledge and skills that they will use throughout the rest of their teaching and performing careers. Many of our doctoral students in the performance practice seminar have benefited from concurrently participating in the early music ensemble and our class collaboration opportunities with the early music ensemble have been invaluable. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, our class met remotely on Zoom every week. Students were scattered in various locations throughout the United States to be with their families since they did not need to be physically present in Utah during the semester. Social distancing protocols also made the logistics of collaborative rehearsing and performing very tricky to navigate for the early music ensemble. In spite of this, both of these courses were successfully able to overcome these obstacles and, in the process, everyone learned how to create very innovative video performances, both solo and collaborative, which we have combined into a video concert format as an Early Music America performance opportunity for our students. Thank you for listening, and thanks to EMA for this opportunity to share the work of our students.
Hi, I'm Lisa Chofty, the director of the University of Utah Early Music Ensemble, here to introduce our final piece. Shikochi Konetsintle, a 17th century chansonetta by Gaspar Fernandez, may be familiar to many of you as a musical work for Christmas with its nativity theme. It's a piece that I've loved since I discovered it several years ago, and I explored programming it for the Early Music Ensemble this spring, as we are coming out of the pandemic and beginning to experience calming glimmers of hope. Shikochi is one example of a hybrid and, in some respects, collaborative type of work that brought the indigenous Nahuatl language and colonial Spanish music together. Nahuatl, an ancient language, is also a living language. It is taught regularly by native speakers here at the University of Utah. Each summer, for example, the Center for Latin American Studies at the U offers an intensive six-week session in classical and modern Nahuatl through the Instituto de Docencia e Investigación Etnológica de Zacatecas, Mexico. I contacted the Institute to see if I could converse with a native speaker of Nahuatl and make a connection for greater understanding and participation in our musical project. I was fortunate to meet on Zoom with Abelardo de la Cruz de la Cruz. Abelardo, a PhD candidate in world languages and literature here at the U, is also an instructor in the Nahuatl Summer Intensive. I have seen now the 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 the, the lyric the mm -hmm. Nahuatl. It's very good. It's like no sé, ¿cómo se dice? A, a, a lullaby, I think. Oh, a lullaby. La, like like an a lullaby, <laughs> right? Uh, but no, I I feel I feel good, uh, Lisa, and I want to help. Oh, okay. Well, thank to, you. To, pron to pronounce. <laughs> Shikochi konetzintle ka omits wiwishoko in angelosme. Alleluia. And I learned a bit about the meanings of the words in the text. The fact that this is still a living language. So is this a language that um, do you you speak it all the all the time then or? Uh, is uh, very close to my uh, Nahuatl dialect that I speak. Uh, I use the verb kochi. Kochi is to sleep. Konetzintle uh, is baby. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Right. And we 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 show we we show that that we 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 show we we is como uh, for for a baby. Oh, to rock or I think exactly, exactly. Uh huh. Can mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes. Uh, is is useful. Uh, are, are useful these verbs. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. So, but but I say, we we, we we, we we show, we we show. <clears throat> but in the in this case, is in past tense. Ka omits we we shoko. Ka. Omits we will show go. I want to thank Abelardo de la Cruz for working with me and for his reading of the text for Shikochi. We have included his recitation in our performance with his permission. Shikochi conetzintle. Ka omits we will show go. In angelosme. Alleluia.
Shikochi con etzintle. Ka omitz wiwishoko in angelosme. Aleluya.